Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting Arkham Horror List video. Today we are going to be talking about five cards that we want to get upgrades or downgrades for. So uh, it's like an experienced version, unexperienced version if they're already experienced, more versions of an experienced card, maybe a stepping stone between two experienced versions. We just want more now. Uh, let's start with everybody's number five. Starting with Brins. So I've got sleight of hand, but what I actually want here is not so much an upgrade or a downgrade one, but for them to stop changing what it does. <laughs> I just I just want to sit down to play with it and like know for sure what it does one time. <laughs> That's largely what I want. However, I could see an upgraded version where you get to put... Because it, its current iteration allows you to put a card that is level 3 or lower from your hand into play. Mm -hmm. I could see an upgraded version where you just get to put an item that takes up one hand or less mm -hmm. from your hand into play. Then pick it up. Yeah, Unless like, that item is named the Necronomicon, in which case you cannot do that. Just uh, all they need to do is just have the uh, upgraded versions be the old versions of it. <laughs> <laughs> I know they won't do that because the taboo list is optional. That would just be really funny. Yeah, yeah. Um... My number five is Baseball Bat. This is a card that we would play, me especially, would play a lot in the earlier days. And it was really fun to, uh, you know, beat people to death with a baseball bat. And I I was talking with Travis about this recently, and I, I do kind of wish that they would go back to this kind of punishment type for uh, red items. And I like also the flavor that things break. Um, what the upgrade would be... Um, I think it would be super sick if it would, it like dealt more, but if it broke, you exiled it instead. So it kind of fit with that exile mechanic part of it, right? I just you think, gotta go buy a new bat. Yeah, you have to go buy a new bat. Like, I think there's just a lot of cool stuff they could do revisiting this card, especially. I think that could be really fun. Travis, what's your number five? I got calling favors. This is a card that like I liked for the ally centric builds. Mm -hmm. Um that they printed way back in Path of Carcosa. I think it would just be neat to see some kind of uh, some kind of upgrade to it. Yeah. Um, even if it was, it, it seems like it could. Even if the upgrade had to be like green, because it does seem like a very green thing to do. Oh, that'd be cool. I like that. Yeah, maybe like you get to search top nine cards and you find an ally and. Uh, Maybe you get to put that ally into play and instead you like gain resources equal to one you return or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I like the idea of it becoming like a green card and kind of like that flavor for it, right? Yeah. Like, I you know what'd be kind of fun to do, like you know how they have the Miskatonic um, charisma, if they had like a calling in favors for criminal assets, right? <laughs> that would be really yeah. Cool. That would be a nice uh, nice touch. Yeah, that'd be cool. They should do that. All right. Yeah. Let's go to our number fours, cool. starting with Bryn. Take it away. This is another card that I kind of just want to be able to play with again. Mm -hmm. I understand that an upgraded version would be less good than this version, mm -hmm. because it has to be. Um, I think there needs to be more variables on this. Like maybe when you commit it to your test, you draw more chaos tokens, or the chaos tokens, their value changes. Mm -hmm. because this card is committed because as is it's too easy to ensure a win you're just like i'll throw it at this test the test difficulty is five i'm at you know 16 let's yeah. go i uh like that because i have double or nothing open on my other monitor and just the latest taboo forbidden i just love that yep. it's yeah you just can't play it yeah it's just uh, no bueno yeah yeah maybe maybe like it caps the number of other cards that can be committed to the skill test mm -hmm. i don't know yeah, could you? Because I, I remember reading in the when they did the latest taboo stuff, they talked about how they tried so many Ooh. things about double or nothing, yeah, and like how yeah. none of it worked. And now we're like, it's like, hey, make an experience version, and they're like, no, <laughs> yeah, we're like, yeah. it's hard enough no. to do this one. This card was a lot of fun to play with in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, it stopped being after a little while uh, when you realize that the risk is actually non-existent. Yeah. Uh, 
so yeah i would just i would just like to see a version like maybe not even this card but something similar to this where you're trying the test and there is more risk but there's more reward too yeah definitely uh my number four is eureka a big thing is this is i feel like I wish there were more upgrades for skills. Uh, surprise, surprise, Justin likes skill-based decks. What a twist. Um, I, like, in my head, I was kind of like, what would an upgrade be for these cards? And, like, I think it would be, like, you gotta either look at more cards or it has, like, a wild symbol, but I don't think it has both. I just think, like, um, it'd be more fun to kind of, like, explore the ability to upgrade your skills more because, like, they're, like, skills are, they're, like, they're good. And, like, Eureka is a very good card. But I would love to be able to just look at this Eureka and be like, all right, baby, I want to make you better. And this Christmas, that dream's coming true, right? Like, I just think that would be pretty fun. Or, like, alternatively, um, in this new kind of, like, cross-color upgrades, it'd be cool to see this upgrade into, like, a red card somehow, right? I think that would be also neat. It would have to change, that. obviously, right? But, like, I think it would be cool to also get that side of it, too. Commits for negative symbols, and if you fail, you get to search for cards. Oh, let's go. <laughs> but then it's Eureka backwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Travis, what's your number four? Uh, this is Vantage Point. This is a card that came out in the Forgotten Age. The last pack, I think. It's just not quite good enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like to see some kind of change to it, like they did to some kind of upgrade, like they did to CK Answers, where. I don't know, maybe you can play it whenever an investigator moves into a location mm -hmm. or something like that. It doesn't need much of a bump, but it's just like a little too situational for yeah. what it is right now. And I mean, like with experience cards, that's where you can just be a little bit stronger, right? Because you already have to commit another resource to get it. So I think Vantage yeah. Point would be fun to see improved. All right, let's go on to our number three cards. Brin, go for it. I've got the Armor of Ardennes. Uh, for this one, I would like to see a downgraded version. Uh, mm -hmm. Possibly, like, without the health score printed on the card, and just as a reaction when you are dealt non-direct damage, you can exhaust the cancel one of it. So then it soaks It soaks less damage, but uh, I, I, would, I would like to be able to play with armor that doesn't compete with my flamethrower yeah. <laughs> directly in terms of cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Armor of Ardennes, like, double complete competes with the Flamethrower, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah for two reasons. Yeah. No, I would, yeah, I would, I would just like to see, a, see, like, a smaller one that you can upgrade to, and, uh, like, it's not terrible if you couldn't just dump the giant pile of XP that this card demands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, my number three is Charles Ross Esquire. I've always been, like, super intrigued by this guy. Maybe it's because, like, the ghost of Charlie Kane is hovering behind me <laughs> being like, hey, that's what I did in Eldritch Horror, pretty much. Um, and I would love to see um, an upgraded version where, like, like, maybe he, like, came into play with, like, a little bit of money on him that once it's gone, it can't be refreshed, right? But, like, you could use that money to then pay for assets only for other players to, like, really push that, like, buy stuff for your friend's support, right? Or, like, maybe, like, he's still reduced by one and he they drew they replaced a card, they drew a card after, right? I just think there's a lot they could do to kind of make this idea of the multiplayer side of him more fun. And I think that'd be cool to see. Travis, what's your number three? Uh, this is the Forbidden Tome from the Harvey Walters Investigator deck. And I'd really just like to see a third option for the upgrade. I think the two that we have are fine, but I'd like a little more variety for I'm playing with Shrewd Analysis. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't really care, really. I just want something different. Yeah, it'd be inter interesting to see because they usually give more upgrades like in like Return 2s, but it's not like we're going to get Return to the Investigator starter decks, so... Yeah. Number two, Bryn, take it away. I got the cherished keepsake. Now you might be saying, but Bryn, there's already an upgraded cherished keepsake, to which I say, no, there is not. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I would like to see upgraded cherished keepsake interact with terror cards somehow. Oh, so you can like hug your teddy bear? Yeah, yeah, right. Like you're scared, but it's it's good because you got you got your bear. Yeah. 
right? Like maybe maybe he gives you because they mostly make you test your brain. Maybe he gives you plus one brain for tests that they're that are made on a on a treachery card or on like a terror card. Or maybe you can discard or exile him to discard a terror card in your threat area. Yeah, I think that would be really cool. That would be cool. I like the flavor too. Just being like, I'm gonna hold him and everything's okay. That's cute. <laughs> Uh, my number two is Madame LeBranche. Um, honestly, I don't think she needs much, but I would love to see her give you a skill buff. Uh, like, she gives you a lot of resources, and I think that's, like, just kind of on par with par. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, that's kind of, like, what happens with a lot of the red allies. They don't necessarily just get better. Like, like their text doesn't get great. They just usually, like, add more buff to the skills. And I think, that, I think that's super important the survivor class. Like, Madame LeBranche is really good, but with the way I always play uh, this game, the skill buffs are really enticing to me. And I would love for her to like just have a little bit of an oomph to get an upgraded version. Or like even like an upgraded version that like you can't really push her text box anymore because it's already pretty strong. You don't want it to be like draw two. That would be insane. Um, but I think I think she's sweet and I want to see more of her. Travis, what's your number two? Yeah, uh, this is Connect the Dots. This is, a, this is a neat card designed for Joe Diamond, and it's a cool card. It's just like a little bit too situational. It's just not quite worth the four resources, considering when you can do it. And it's not unplayably bad or anything, but I would like to like a, a level one or level two experience version to just push a little further. Mm -hmm. Even just like lower the cost down have it be level two and lower the cost down to two or have it after the last clue is discovered at your location instead of you having instead to discover you it. having to do it yeah it's yeah like a little baby week yeah like especially see what you mean too like with uh joe diamond the hunches are already like kind of situational and this card is like double situational so it's hard to really like <laughs> include and get full value from yeah making it more likely to go off He's a good thing. All right, our number ones, starting with Bryn. I've got the Crystallizer of Dreams. What I don't care twist. what it does or what they change. I just want more Crystallizer of Dreams. That's what I want. Um, I, I would pay five XP for a different Crystallizer of Dreams. I'm like, in my head, like I'm looking at the text box and I'm being like, that's pretty full. They can't add anything. Yeah, I know, so right? like, You just want more. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just wanted, to, uh, I wanted to do more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does that have to be better? No, I could make me search for two copies of Guardian of the Crystallizer. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brent's like put as many of them. I'm not, as I'm not scared. That guy, get. that guy's garbage. Yeah. He's never stopped me from stealing an egg yet. Yeah. <laughs> Man, one know. day one Maybe of them's like, gonna kill you. And you're going to be like, egads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, my yeah. number one is our esteemed eschatologist, David Renfield himself. I love David. I love the flavor of David. And I would love an experienced version that's scarier and stronger, right? So, like, cool, man. like he is harder to kill, right? Uh, like, so the only way to then, like, get rid of him is to, like, you know, play another ally, which is super doable, right? Like, it's not, like, hard to kill David. But I would like, like, the David who is like, I have read the Forbidden Scripture and I know all. I will bring doom to the world, but here's a few more pennies for my pocket in the process, right? I just, I would love to see what they could do with an upgraded David. I think that would be really fun. Man, if they wanted to make him harder to kill, what if he didn't take up your ally slot? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> They're just like, oh. <laughs> or what? It couldn't be assigned damage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just extreme. He's invincible. Yeah. I mean, then De uh, Dexter would just be like, all right, David, let's go party. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. And David's like, no, don't put me back in the box. <laughs> uh, Travis, what's your number one? Uh, my number one is non-existence. I would just like to see a little intermediary mm -hmm. upgrade um, to mirror 
Warden Protection where you can play at level level two, maybe level three, so you don't just get it for free with Arcane Research. Yeah. Um, that just lets you play on other investigators. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That's great. Oh, that's a great idea, Travis. Yeah, it's yeah, just like a little bit. Yeah, that's like yeah, actually perfectly mirrored. Yeah. I think even at two in that case, because it doesn't like draw. Co yeah, let's do it. All right. I'm calling Cthulhu and letting him know. We'll print it next pack. Uh, anyways, everybody watching at home, those were our five cards that we want to see upgrades or downgrades for. Uh, what are some cards that you guys would love to see upgrades or downgrades for that we might have missed? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, you can continue to recommend list ideas to us. We do have a pretty long list now, luckily, thanks to Travis throwing a bunch and chat and viewers also throwing a bunch as well. So we do have a lot of content coming up, and I'm always looking for more. So keep those ideas coming. Uh, also, if there's any dis, uh, not discs, lists you want to see us revisit, let us know in the comment as well, because maybe we will just revisit old lists one day. Who knows? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.